Hi, I'm Jamie Smart, and during this series of mini episodes, I'm reading the chapters from my book, The Profitable Coach's Scorecard, the 10 multipliers that are growing or slowing your professional practice. And this series is sponsored by my Thriving Coaches Blueprint Program, which is opening for registration on Friday, the 6th of April. And you can find out more about the blueprint at jamiesmart.com forward slash thriving. And in this episode, we're speaking about practice multiplier number three, authentic leadership. Multiplier number three, authentic leadership. Professional practice multiplier number three is authentic leadership. A way to think about this is in terms of what you might call classic leadership qualities, such as sense of purpose and direction, courage, willingness to be criticized, the ability to make good decisions, as well as a sense of humility and service. In column one, you play small, afraid of mistakes, failure, and criticism. You envy others' success, but secretly wish you had the qualities they seem to have. Even if you've been in the stuck column until now, you have good reason to be hopeful. Everyone has the source of authentic leadership within them, including you. It's just a matter of starting to clear out the things that have been getting in the way until now. In the second column, you've started taking action, being true to yourself and showing up in a bigger way. You start playing a bigger game, then step back when you feel scared. You plan to step up and take the lead once you feel more confident. Now, here's the thing. Everyone gets scared or feels insecure from time to time. The idea that I'll do it once I feel more confident is just a trick of the mind. Authentic leaders often take action and move forward despite feeling anxious or insecure. Courage isn't about waiting to feel more confident. Waiting to feel more confident is like waiting for the room to warm up before putting logs on the fire. Courage is about taking action even when you feel insecure, even when you feel anxious. In column three, you're guided by big goals, ambitions, and personal aspirations. People admire you and aspire to get the results you're getting. This is what you might call the standard model of success. Sometimes when I meet people who are in this space, they feel like there's something missing. For instance, they achieve their goals and have a kind of, oh, that wasn't it either reaction. They proceed to set the next goal and the next goal and the next, always chasing a feeling of fulfillment and satisfaction because they intuitively know there has to be something more. That brings us to column four, the exponential column. You are guided by a purpose greater than yourself. You serve your community with courage and humility. People instinctively follow you. This is something you'll find in all great leaders, but everyone has the source of these authentic leadership qualities within them, including you. The way to make progress and improve in this practice multiplier is to be courageous. Start speaking your truth and allow your sense of direction and purpose to find you. Embrace your uniqueness and be true to yourself. The quickest way to uncover these qualities is to clear out the contaminated thinking that's been getting in the way until now. Once the fears, anxieties, and superstitions start to disappear, the things you seek emerge to take their place. Purpose, courage, authenticity, well-being, peace of mind, clarity... A great example of this is best-selling author Chantal Burns. Chantal was one of the first coaching clients that I shared the principles behind Clarity with. She really saw the power and impact of this understanding and went all in with it. At the time, one of her dreams was to create a leadership school, and in the years since, she's followed that sense of authentic leadership. She teaches and consults all over the world, has written the number one best-selling book, Instant Motivation, and the Conscious Leadership School is now a reality. All of this is a result of her nurturing that sense of authentic leadership and continuing to listen to her own voice and vision.
By the way, there's an interview with Chantal. I'm just going off script for a second. There's an interview with Chantal at the Exponential Practice podcast, uh, jamiesmart.com forward slash podcast. So if you want to hear more about her and what her journey's been like and about the school she's created and that sort of thing, go check it out. Another great example is Sam Jarman. Sam's a golf pro, and when I started working with him, he was doing the same as most golf pros, charging by the hour for lessons and stressing about how to pay the bills. As we worked together, he started using his understanding of the inside-out nature of the mind in his teaching and started getting spectacular results with his clients. He decided he wanted to move to a package model, something that was largely unheard of in the golf pro world. Lots of people say, I can't do that because no one else does. But it's the willingness to do it despite fear of criticism or of standing out from the crowd that's the essence of authentic leadership. It's now a couple of years since we started working with Sam. He's written a groundbreaking book about the golf mindset called The Three Principles of Outstanding Golf and has completely transitioned to a package model. In fact, he's now starting to coach other golf pros on how to make this transition. This is a great example of authentic leadership. Um, by the way, I've also done a, an interview with Sam at the Exponential Practice Podcast, jamiesmart.com forward slash podcast. <laughs> In his book, Exponential Organizations, angel investor Salim Ismail and his team explored businesses that were growing at an exponential rate, such as Airbnb, Netflix, Uber, that kind of thing. These each doubled the size of their businesses in 2015. One of the qualities identified in his book is that all the exponential organizations shared a massive transformational purpose, an MTP. You may know some of these. So Ted's massive transformational purpose is to spread ideas. Uber's MTP is to evolve the way the world moves. Kickstarter's MTP is to help bring creative projects to life. LinkedIn's MTP is to create economic opportunity for every member of the global workforce. Google's MTP is to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. You see, that sense of purpose and direction is a powerful driver, not just for you, but it resonates with other people. It resonates with clients. It resonates with suppliers. It resonates with employees. It resonates with your broader community. All of that is a reflection of authentic leadership. You could even say it's an emanation of authentic leadership. And by the way, just going off script again for a second... This podcast is an emanation of authentic leadership. I don't know if you know or not, but I used to own, you know, the the biggest uh, NLP product company. Uh, I was passionate about NLP, that sort of stuff. But I ended up um, reaching kind of what I thought was the pinnacle of success in that world, which was, you know, having a company that ran uh, ran. Um, on autopilot and going around the world taking um, uh, taking mini retirements and that sort of thing. And in 2008, I got to the point where I was kind of like, I, w- I was in uh, column three, actually. Like column three is based on me, which is, uh, uh, and based on, I've seen it with a lot of other e- leaders. So I'll, I'll tell you it again. You're guided by big goals, ambitions, and personal aspirations. People admire you and aspire to get the kind of results you're getting, but hey, you're not feeling it. Well, that was me. That was me. And that's when I got introduced to the principles behind clarity. And in May or June 2009, I had this sudden insight. So like my my first insight earlier in that process, earlier in the year, was, oh, Everything you've been looking for outside you is going to come from within you. And that really changed things for me. I suddenly, like, I saw it. Oh, you've been looking in the wrong place. I saw it. Then my second insight was the fact that a person can even see or hear or feel, the fact that a person can even perceive, that means you have the source of innate well-being within you. You have the source of mental health within you. So that was a game changer. That really did something for my work with clients. But then 
in May 2009, June 2009, I had the third insight. And the third insight was, this is principles. This is this is the future of psychology. And it like took my breath away because I'd been exploring this stuff, thinking it was an interesting idea, interesting techniques, that kind of thing. But all of a sudden I saw, no, it's not any of that. It's principles. And literally that day I called up Nikki, who works with me, and said, Nikki, we're changing direction. There's principles. Go. And that, the, the last eight years, all the books I've written, all the work I've done, the programs I've created, the business I've created, have been a reflection of that sense of direction. Uh, and I've had to go through all the things, you know, that we talk about in this stuff in terms of fearing criticism and uh, feeling like a fraud and all those things. But when you have that sense of direction within you, when you have that sense of what's the right thing for you, that's all you need to keep taking the next step. And what I can tell you is the fact that you're listening to this means you have that sense of direction. That's why you're listening to this podcast rather than one of the 50 million other podcasts in the world. That's why you're probably a member of my exponential practice professional group. That's why you're passionate about doing the work you do. It's a reflection, an emanation of authentic leadership that's already there within you. So tune in tomorrow for chapter four, Trusted Advisor. And if you want to get clients and make a decent living by making a difference, you can find out more about the Thriving Coaches Blueprint at jamiesmart.com forward slash thriving.